Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, I just want to answer the question, can we use the more power tool to unlock some extra performance from the RX 6700 XT? Now, unfortunately, this time AMD has really locked down the GPU from an architectural level, whereas Nvidia is locking down or trying to lock down stuff from a driver level. Uh, with the more power tool, we were able to extend the limitations for the 5700 series, whether it was the XT or non-XT, and get some extra gaming performance or mining performance, whichever it may be. This time, though, uh, I, it, it's not working at all. I tried it on the 6800 series, and even in my past videos uh, talking about the 6700 XT, live or otherwise, I mentioned that the more power tool does not work, and that's honestly without me even testing it. Here's the reason why. So first off, I want to show you something. If you get the latest version of AMD VB Flash, which is a, uh, a tool that we would use to flash the, the BIOS or GPU, when I try to run it, it doesn't even load. This is what it says, cannot load driver. So we need the latest version of AMD VB Flash just to even save the BIOS. To counter this, if you wanna save the BIOS, you could use Tech Power Up or go to techpowerup.com to download it. Also, what you can do is you can use GPU-Z. There is the latest version of GPU-Z. Now, I know in the past, people who've uh, messed around with the 5700 series noticed that GPU-Z may not be the best. Um, and this was at, like, at the beginning of launch. Things change, obviously, as developers and software uh, people you know, released updates. But GPU-Z would only save um, 512 kilobytes of the ROM or BIOS, whereas AMD VB Flash would save 1024. As you can see here, GPU-Z is able to see the full and entire ROM and back it up. And you can use GPU-Z to do this. If you get the latest version, you just click this little arrow right here that says Save BIOS, and you can save the file or submit to an online database. They already have mine. So I would just click Save to File. What's going to happen is, is your computer, don't, don't be doing anything extra in the background, watching videos or anything like that, but hit Save File, and then a window will pop up, and it will give you the name of that ROM. You know, It called it Navi22.ROM. Now my card has a dual BIOS switch, so I save both sides of it, and I'm good to go. Uh, then if you download the more power tool from Igor's lab and the red BIOS editor from Igor's lab, we can try to see if we can extend the limits. Now I hit load, select the ROM that I'm on or whichever switch I'm on in the, in the dual BIOS, and then here in the overdrive limits, we can see a number of 1075. Now this is double. When it comes to the memory, it's double. All right, so it's actually 2150. And if we go to the AMD tool here and I max out the memory frequency, you can see that it says 2200. That's because I already tried to supersede those limits with the more power tool, but 2150 is the stock uh, memory maximum that you can hit. So I upped it to 1100, which isn't too much more. Um, and then I checked out the frequency, double checked everything. Also here, the frequency, you see that the number for memory DPM3 is only 1,000. Stock is 200 me 2,000 megahertz, all right? So just remember that it, when it comes to the memory, it's double um, what you see here in the more power tool. But even with extending the limits on the memory overclock and everything, uh, I hit write SPPT. I have to restart the system. But once I restarted the system, Let's see what happened. All right, so now we're booted back into the system and the moment of truth. Does it handicap the card? Like I saw with the 6800 series. So we're gonna go back to performance. I'd like to open up hardware info just to make sure I'm confirming or double checking or double verifying everything between what AMD's utility is saying and the hardware info utility is saying. All right, there we go. Um, let me move up a little bit so you guys could see all of the GPU specs. All right, so manual tuning frequency, and it does let me put it to 2200, but here's the thing. What about the core? All right, so the core looks good. Okay. All right, so I'm going to load my stock profile but I'm gonna increase the memory to 2200. Let me do some testing because I can't record and test at the same time and see what happens.
So as you just saw there, uh, yeah, we can surpass the memory limits. The problem is, is that the core clock is going to lock itself down to 500 megahertz or lower, even though it says, you know, like if I leave it stock right now and start again, it's going to drop right down to 500 megahertz. It's not going to go beyond that as far as the core clock. And then the memory is able to hit, you know, 2200 or close to 2200 uh, megahertz, but the core is locked down. It's almost as if something internally is sensing okay they're modifying the sppt or soft power play tables you know lock down the core or whatever it is so until igor's lab or somebody from out there modifies or comes up with a uh, revision of the power play tables stuff like that there's not much that uh, we can do so the more power tool obviously does not work what about the red bios editor um let's find out First off, if you ever want to go back to stock, you just select your GPU, load the BIOS that you should have saved, and then you will be good to go. It will load the default values for everything, and you can write and restart. Um, let's check out the red BIOS editor, see if it can pick up on anything. So I'm going to load, again, that BIOS that we saved. Not supported. So the red BIOS editor would not allow us to modify memory timings in any form or fashion unless the Rebellion team comes out with a new revision. So that's the unfortunate news in today's video, but I just wanted to show you guys that just to go ahead and, and finalize. I, I mentioned in the live stream when I was doing my testing and even in my previous video that it's not supported because I already knew that because the 6800 series showed me the locking mechanism or the fact that it is locked uh, once we try to supersede the, the limitations that AMD has placed. So unfortunately, you're not going to be, be able to eke out any more, at least of right now, unless somebody comes out. Now, I don't know if the people at Igor's lab or the uh, Rebellion team will come out with a new revision uh, that will allow us to fully unlock the 6000 series. Maybe AMD is locked it down so good that they can't. Um, but if there is something that comes out, I will have that in the future. So stay tuned and I'll share that data with you. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to answer that question. Does the more power tool uh, work on the RX 6700 XT? Uh, it, honestly, it doesn't work for any of the 6000 series GPUs at the time. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get much more performance out of it because once you unlock it or try to supersede the limits, it's going to lock down that GPU. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. And uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.